All right, welcome back, part two. This master cylinder, ugh, that motorcycle. Let's get back to it. So if you're just tuning in, we ripped the old one apart and I have everything set in here and there and kind of here and some of it's there. Rest is over here and there. So here's the parts. Um, genuine Harley Davidson, I would recommend going on J&P Cycles and getting these for probably a quarter of the price. Uh, this gentleman brought me Dot 4 Fluid from Harley. I would also recommend going to any other auto parts store and getting Dot 4 Fluid for a lot cheaper. Okay. What all does this come with? Holy shit. What are those? Inst inst instructions? Huh. Remove master cylinder check. Hand lever, got it. Wow, I should open these first. Using a toothpick or small screwdriver, maybe a penis, and gently pry out outer edge of the seal from the groove, got it. Remove the piston assembly using force, clean and inspect. Verify the backup ring is oriented as shown. Okay. Verify the primary cup is installed with a tapered and seated in the backup ring. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. We can follow instructions. So essentially what they're saying is make all these parts look like this part. Ta-da! Jazz hands. Let's see. Verify the O-ring seated in the seated in the piston groove. That's once we stick shit in, right? Yeah, it has to be. There's no O-ring in there. That's gay. Using the lubricant in the parts kit, that's this uh, motorcycle lube. Let's see. Using the lubricant in the parts kit. Thoroughly coat the outside diameters of the primary cup, backup ring, and O-ring. Coat the master cylinder and piston bore. If you're using another kit that doesn't come with this shit, just coat it with some brake fluid and fucking beat it in there. Let's see. Verify the retainer is in the end of the spring for an insert spring and retainer into piston bore so that it seats against the counter bore recess at the bottom. Can I get a light in here? Kind of see that recess in there. That's where this has to sit. So that's pretty easy. Is this packed with snot? So going off the picture, that thing has the spring kind of pointing towards the handlebar part. So, spring pointing towards the handlebar part. Tadooski, that's in there. Now what do we do? Something with this, I guess. Let's see if we shove it in there. Wait a minute. Was this part of... Yeah, okay. So this metal piece that I pried out was part of this ring. Wait another minute. Aha! That'll help.
it's kind of a bitch. And since this says H B, not D, H B on it, I'm guessing this is rebuilt at some other point in time and this seal was popped out because someone's a piece of shit. Now, you'll see that a lot when you start working on old or used Harleys. But we got her back in. She feels pretty good. Like, fuck, that was easy. All right. Maybe I should work on newer bikes. Let's put our handle back on. Oh, I got snot on it. Look you here, you fucker. There it went. Just had to talk dirty to it. Now, where did I hide my seat clip? I put it right where I won't forget it. And then I threw stuff all over the place. There it is. Okay. So we'll stick her back in the old pliers here. Put your thumb over it to prevent a missile hazard. I see what's going on. My pliers are broke. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to deal with it. Let's see. Oh, she went. All right. Double check she's in there. She's in there. All right, we'll come out. Nope, perfect. Okay. Now, let's get a little fluid in here. We're gonna be bleeding some brakes for sure. Make sure we ain't got no leaks on the table here. If I quit knocking the camera, you guys might see what I'm doing. I'm just running the master cylinder, filling up the holes. Waiting until we get some to squirt out. Ah, there we go. We got a squirt. So that means both sides of this master cylinder got fluid in them. So. We'll top her off. We'll stick this lid back on. When we get to bleeding the brakes, we're going to be taking this back 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 off. Another thing I see a lot is people crank the ever living dog piss out of these. Don't do that. Nice and easy. You got a rubber seal.
killed a lot better. Now, let's go back over here. Look at something. Maybe look at something. Christ. What I want to do is get these washers off. Because I'm not a real big fan of reusing them. And then I got a crush washer kit. I need to get the fucking bolt out. There we go. There we go. Alright. There they are. Crush washers. Since I just realized I was mumbling, first one I said that's a little big, and then the second one I said that'll probably work. Let's find another. So we are. This one's one I'm going to go with. So I think this one right here is going to do us. So we got two nice skinny little copper crush rings. This has been off before I show you how I can tell. Just a sec. Right. Little itty bitty bits of Loctite are already on these. Oh, Jesus. Good thing I got that all over the floor instead of the bolt. But yep, just another little itty bitty bit of Loctite because we're working on a Harley Davidson motorcycle. And they like to randomly fall the fuck apart. So we put a lot of Loctite on them, right, boys and girls? Jesus, if you guys, you know, all 217 views this is going to get in the next 17 years, if you don't learn fucking anything from me, lock tight, yo shit. Electric socket or ratchet that I'm using is not the big fancy fuel one. It's a regular 
M12 Milwaukee one. I know the other's M12 also. But what I'm getting at is it's only got 10 foot pounds of torque. So I'm not going to over torque shit with this, which is exactly what we want. And put a little ass on it. Little ass on it. She's good. Okay. So this bolt is a banjo bolt for people that might not have done this before. See, it's got a hole in it here and a hole in it there. So as we shove it down into the master cylinder, you pump your brakes, fluid goes through that, through this, and down your line to wherever the fluid needs to go. So we're gonna toss this on. And after that, it's just bleeding brakes. So we already got the master cylinder bled. So we really do just need to work out a little air bubble and it shouldn't be too bad at all. And that will go right like that. Now notice that bolt, I didn't put any Loctite on. You shouldn't need Loctite on those. Let's see, so next one, we'll put the turn signal and the mirror back. Mirror, lock tight. I know my big fucking paws in the way, but I'm just tightening a bolt down. I promise. Okay, I'm gonna hold those in place about like so. Well, I'm gonna let them fucking dangle. I gotta change my socket, but then I'll hold them in place. Hold those in place about like so. those are tight ain't coming off and Austin buddy your bike is done for the most part it's got to bleed some brakes and uh, good to go man appreciate it guys